Welcome to module four of this course on enhancing trade information portals. This module will help you understand and evaluate the services and performance of a TIP. In module two, we explained that TIP services and performance is one of the seven quality attributes of effective contents. This covers the availability of services like search functions, a sitemap, or a frequently asked questions page, as well as the overall technical performance of the TIP, like loading speed. The key goal is to improve access to content. Services and features are meant to make navigating the site easier, while improved technical performance helps users, especially those in places with poor internet connection, access the site. Some of the navigation services do overlap with what we discussed in the last module, like ease of navigation. But whereas previously we focused on ergonomics and organization, here we will be taking a more technical perspective. So, leaving aside for the moment performance, what kind of services do we expect a TIP to provide? Our recommended list of expected services here is based on the World Bank guidance on establishing a TIP. It includes language selection, since traders from both inside and outside the country are meant to use this portal. So the site should be available in the local language, plus English and other widely spoken languages. A sitemap or other site navigation tools, a help desk where traders can make inquiries, a frequently asked questions FAQ page, information about commonly used terminology, and a search function, where procedures can be searched by inputting descriptions of goods or corresponding HS codes, and import or export location. Other search functions may also be useful, such as for regulatory procedures or legal documents. Just like our list of expected content, this list of services is not exhaustive and really depends on what may already be available. Some of the services, like a search function for legal documents, may be more efficiently presented as a separate portal covering all the country's legal documents, with the TIP then only linking to that portal, depending upon how user-friendly that portal already is from the standpoint of targeted TIP users. You may also note that some of the services, like the FAQ and information about commonly used terminology, also include their own content, which may be evaluated for how easy they are to understand, just as we discussed in the last module. But in this module, we will focus on evaluating the usefulness of the services themselves as a basis for making improvements. Now, how do we measure the ease of use, usefulness, and technical performance of these services? Like in the previous module, we recommend using expert reviews based on some concrete scenarios undertaken by a team of users slash evaluators who then combine their results. However, unlike the very qualitative aspects we discussed in the last module, here, there is some opportunity to apply more concrete criteria. For example, when evaluating the language selection, the team could agree ahead of time to give the TIP a score of five if it has five or more languages, four if it has four languages, and so on, all the way down to a one if it is only available in the TIP's local language. So we're using a numeric measure to assign our scores that is agreed upon by all the evaluators. Further guidance on making these assessments and some suggested scoring matrices are provided in Annex A of the SCAP ITD Guide on Enhancing Trade Information Portals. Note, however, that we cannot entirely escape the need for subjective evaluation. For example, a TIP might have many languages to choose from, but the quality of translations might not be that high, or the TIP might only be partially translated. Also, some languages are more useful than others, like the local language, English, 
and maybe the language of major trading partners. Or for the help desk, the easiest way to reply quickly is to provide short answers with little informational content, which is not very good either. Even with more concrete criteria, these scores we are assigning are very much proxies designed to highlight areas for improvement. Therefore, in addition to having more concrete criteria, it is also worth evaluating each service that TIP provides based on the evaluator's reasonable judgment, exactly as we discussed in the previous module. Here, the criteria is usefulness, or simply how useful the service actually is. We go through exactly the same process, specify a clear scenario from the user's perspective, score each service between 0 and 5, where 5 is best and 0 is non-existent, compare with some benchmark TIPs, and finally compare and average the scores given by different evaluators. Now, in addition, we also want to evaluate the technical performance of the TIP. A TIP needs to be accessible to traders all around the world, to traders on different platforms, who might be using different browsers or have weaker internet access. Especially for micro, small, and medium enterprises in developing countries, the TIP should not be too data-intensive, as such enterprises may lack access to high-speed, stable internet. Additionally, the affordability and user-friendliness of smartphones have made them increasingly popular devices for business transactions, especially for smaller traders around the world. Being mobile-friendly could therefore be a valuable feature for TIPs, aiming to promote inclusive growth. This gives us several performance indicators with which to assess the TIP. Web page loading speed can be easily measured using tools like webpagetest.org. For example, here we are testing Thailand's TIP as of early 2021. Be careful when selecting a server from which to run this test, as it can radically change your results. Again, we have some pre-agreed scoring matrix, like 5 points if the website takes less than 5 seconds to load, a score 4 if it takes between 6 and 15 seconds, 3 if it takes 16 to 25 seconds, and so on, all the way to 0 if it takes more than 45 seconds to load. In this example, from a server in Dulles, USA, Thailand's portal takes 9.2 seconds to load. So using the scoring matrix suggested in Annex A of the SCAP ITD guide, we would give it a score of 4. Or another example, the performance of a help desk, where traders can submit questions to the TIP management, can be measured by how many days it takes to respond. A 5 might be given if an answer comes in one day, 4 if it takes two days, and so on, up to a 0 if there is no help desk or answers take longer than 5 days. As mentioned before, the relevance and quality of the answers may also need to be separately considered. Webpagetest.org also provides some other interesting metrics, such as these security ratings. While TIPs generally do not require login or store personal data, a hacker could still tamper with the information they present, thereby undermining traders' trust. As a possible exercise, consider how you might create a scoring matrix based on these ratings. Next, we can check the TIP's browser compatibility using a tool like powermapper.com. Different browsers are more or less commonly used in different parts of the world and among different communities. So to maximize accessibility, we really want our TIP to work on as many major browsers as possible. PowerMapper rates a website's compatibility with several major browsers. Here we might say that if a TIP is given a green rating on all browsers, it gets a 5. 4 if it experiences major issues on one browser, and so on, up to a score of 0 if no browser is compatible. So again, inputting Thailand's TIP as of 2021, 
we find that it is missing content on one browser, while working on all others. You can choose how to treat partially compatible browsers. In the matrix we are using, only serious issues are considered, meaning that Thailand's TIP receives a score of 4. Let us also take a look at mobile support. Mobile adoption has been very high, especially among younger generations and micro-businesses, many of which are solely dependent on mobile devices to make business decisions. Fortunately, the mobile friendliness of a TIP is quite easy to test using a site like searchgoogle.com, the results of which can be treated just like the results from powermapper.com or webpagetest.org. Again, you will find a suggested scoring matrix and some further guidance in Annex A of the SCAP ITD Guide on Enhancing Trade Information Portals. In this module, we have discussed how to evaluate, using both concrete criteria and reasonable judgment, TIP services that help users find the content they are looking for. The list of services we have discussed here should be treated as a baseline, not as a mandatory or comprehensive list. We also showed simple ways to assess the technical performance of a TIP, even from outside of its organization. This can again be used to understand a TIP's position relative to other TIPs and generate ideas for further improvement. In the next module, we will discuss how to improve other key quality attributes of the content, namely accuracy, timeliness, consistency, and completeness of TIPs.